the way of commercial society. I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess all of us is. So uh, yeah, we we had an open stage inside, so now we have an open stage outside. So if the if the city wants uh, all the all the commercial commercial all the cultural initiatives, yeah, later on, uh, underground. Blockading this uh, this road because uh, police is going to evict this beautiful squad and uh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they can go away. <laughs> no. Do you think but so? No. I think maybe they're going to break it, tear it down to pieces, or uh, yeah. It would be heavy, you never know. I think, yeah. <laughs> but you want to uh, get as much people inside here, no? I feel uh, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I am uh, prepared for what is coming. We never know, but. You can do what you can do, and this is a very nice, uh, yeah, very nice being put up. A lot of people, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually. <laughs> yeah, people should not evict squads. I mean, it's our, it's our free places like this place. It's so free, it's so nice and and cool, and there are people who can do their stuff and they're free in what they're doing. And to evict these kind of things, it's it's crazy, and we cannot let this happen. So we have to fight. And we have to stand up for our places, for our squads. It's just important that we let that we let them know. I mean, you cannot do this. So it's not desperation. What you're saying, it's uh, uh, it's more of uh, anger and, uh, and and just uh, self-confidence. You cannot stop us. Uh, you may not stop us. Uh, we are here. So that's it. <laughs> Struggling to keep our to keep our cultural free ports on, so that uh, the city remains alive and critical, and um, you know, so that the, the underground has breath to 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 show that not everything has to go about money, uh, not everything should be commercialized, not everything should be empty, shallow. So we're just here to have our open stage. Uh, if we cannot have it inside, we, we should have an open stage outside. And when the, yeah, until we can have that, we'll be in the way. I feel good. I feel really motivated by the fact that a lot of people are here. Uh, and not only from Amsterdam, but, uh, and not only squatters. Uh, a lot of people really, yeah, from, from all ranges. Um, yeah, and also from the last few days, we had so much overwhelming reactions, like the neighbors who put their fucking banner outside, they fucking cry. So, yeah, you know, energy never gets wasted, so uh, we will pop up somewhere else, go on the ground for a while, and then remain in the way, like we always did. I mean, this is the sixth uh, place we had as Schenheide. It's gonna be seven. I'm really proud that we didn't compromise and that we uh, that we remain behind our ideas in this whole struggle on all levels. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of all the people that did, did so much hard work.
grow in numbers and we are winning. We are going to win. And on behalf of everybody of Gen Heilig, I would like to say it, it, it's really touching that you are here with so many people. It supports us so much. It's really important. Thank you for that, first of all. But actually, I'm, I'm really wondering. You know, Gen Heilig is a free cultural center and, and we are kicking for six years. We are kicking because we have the time, because we think it's important to have a non-cultural space in Amsterdam, and because so many of you support us, and all the time. But would you like that we, after this, would start another Schenheilig? Would you like that? Yeah. I beg your pardon, everyone. would you like another Schenheilig? What are we doing here? Yep. We are here to hopefully prevent Kein Heiler from being evicted.